Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for some chaos! That's right, we're gonna crack open one of these MTG Unpacked Chaos Mystery Boxes. So these are my vision for how a Chaos Mystery Box should be. And later in the video, we're gonna look at some mail from Chuckwagon MTG, so stay tuned for that. So let's introduce the patron here. We have Richard Corwin. All right, so we're gonna open one box for him, and he actually has a couple more coming in a future video. So let's roll for the first row or second. So we'll do one, two, three, four through six. Let's see what we get. So first row it is. And get these out of the way. I'm running out of space here. All right, and roll again, one through four. It'll be two. Okay, so you get this one, Richard. So good luck, sir. Let's put these over here and get to cracking. Where'd my dice go? Over here. Alright, so thank you for being a patron, sir. Should be some good stuff this month. And if you had not already guessed, the theme this month is angels. So let's see what we got. Modern Horizons, Avison Restored. Born of the Gods, we get an angel token, we'll take a look at that shortly. Ooh, Bane Slayer Angel, Guilds of Ravnica, Throne of Eldraine, and Ixalan. Okay, so we'll get our, let's say we'll get our bland vegetables out of the way first. Uh, let's see, I could be surprised though, but I like to have a bit of variety in these unboxings here. So let's take a look at this foil and boost the lighting a little. Okay, so we get a angel token foil, and on the other side, get the fuller angel. So these are from Unstable. So very cool. And then if we take a look at the angel foil here, what did we get? So Bane Slayer Angel. Whoa! Look at that foiling. Fantastic creature angel. Five five for five. It's a mythic from M11. Has flying first strike, lifelink, protection from demons and from dragons. Interesting. Okay, so there we are. Very tasty pool there. So let's go digging here. So Richard will get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. So let's see what we can find here. We get a Queen's Bay Soldier, Fire Shrine Keeper, Pterodon Knight, Blight Keeper, Commune with Dinosaurs, Sailor of Means, Pious Interdiction, Crushing Canopy, Water Trap Weaver, Duress. Okay, and the Uncommons here in Ixalan, Sheltering Light, Navigator's Ruin, Charter Course, and the rare is Thaumatic Compass, so it's an artifact for two. So for three, tap, search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand and shuffle your library. And at the beginning of your end step, if you control seven or more lands, transform Thaumatic Compass into the Spires of Arazka. So this one you can tap, add colorless mana to your mana pool, tap, untap, target attacking creature and opponent controls and remove it from combat. All right, pop that over there and a checklist and treasure token. Moving right along, Born of the Gods, so we'll be opening a bunch of Theros, Born of the Gods, and Journey into Nyx over the next month or two, in preparation for Theros Beyond Death in January, so can't wait for that. Okay, next we have Nyxborn, Eidolon, Charging Badger, Faragax Giant, Sphinx, Sphinxes, Sphinxes Disciple, Afara's Radiance, Nyxborn's Shieldmate, Fall of the Hammer, Karametra's Favor, Areska's Sun Guide, we've got a Cat Monk there, very interesting, Stratus Walk, and Uncommon's Peregrination, Drown in Sorrow, Ragemonger, and the rare is Whims of the Fates, Sorcery for Six, starting with you, each player separates all permanents he or she controls into three piles. Then each player chooses one of his or her piles at random and sacrifices those permanents. Piles can be empty. Interesting. Okay. Mountain and a bit about... What is this? Heroes. Okay. Very fascinating stuff, I'm sure. Next, we have Guilds of Ravnica. Looking for the Shocklands here, as always. 
There's a couple of other spicy pulls here as well. Keep an eye out for. Next we have Wishcoin Crab, Sure Strike, Dowser of Lights, Pax Favor, Capture Sphere, Erstwhile Trooper, Maniacal Rage, Hired Poisoner, Blade Instructor, Sonic Assault, and Uncommons Conclave Tribunal, Golgari Finebroker, Crawl Swarm, and the rare. Oh, it's a split card. So response and resurgence. Let's get some focus there. Response is an instant for two. Deals five damage to target attacking or blocking creature. And resurgence is a sorcery for five creatures to control gain. First strike and vigilance to end of turn. After this main phase, there's an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase. All right, Boris Skillgate and a soldier token. So which of these sets here is your favorite? I know uh, I've got a fair guess what a lot of people will say, but I'm curious what you think. Next we have Bloodhaze Wolverine, Shining Armor, Run Away Together, Merchant of the Vale, Garen Briggs Squire, Smitten Swordmaster, Tuan Vale Treefolk, Forever Young, Wildwood Tracker, Unveil Tactician, and Uncommon Steelclaw Lance, Beanstalk Giant, Cauldron's Gift, and the rare is Giant Killer. So it's a creature, human, peasant, one, two, for a single white. It has chop down two and white, it's an adventure, destroy target, creature with power four or greater. And for the creature portion, one and white, tap, you get to tap target creature. And a swamp and a wolf token. Okay, on to Avacyn Restored. Got a grizzle brand on the cover there. Hopefully we can pull a grizzle brand or something even better. Probably one of the angels is the craziest pull. I haven't checked the uh, top cards recently. Next we have Geist Trappers. Butcher Ghoul. Creature Zombie. Lovely fellow. Midnight Duelist. Battle him. Pretty cool. Scroll of Avacyn, Hanwear Lancer, Curse Break, Pillar of Flame, Joint Assault, Ghost Form, and Uncommon's Ghostly Touch, Commander's Authority, and if you've seen the foil of this, it looks quite blinding, even more so than this one. Eaten by Spiders, and the Rare, oh ho ho, no way! Oh, Cavern of Souls! Richard, you've hit the jackpot, I think, yeah, okay, now that I remember, I think this is the best card in the set. As Cavern of Souls enters the battlefield, choose a creature type, tap, add one to your mana pool, tap, add one mana of any color to your mana pool, spend this mana only to cast a creature spell of the chosen type, and that spell can't be counted, yes, Cavern of Souls, fantastic, and a humid token, and planes, okay, so, I would say from this point on, Anything is gravy here, because really, Richard, when you've got a Cavern of Souls and a Baneslayer Angel, what more do you need? Okay, so Modern Horizons, we have a Goblin War Party, yes! Ikite, Martyr's Soul, Rhyme Tender, Changeling Outcast, Geomancer's Gambit, Settle Beyond Reality, Universal Onomaton, Mob. Segovian Angel and Uncommon's Battle Screech! Scuttling Sliver, that's a remarkable creature, Sliver Trilobite. Regrowth and Rare is on thin ice. Snow Enchantment Aura for a single white. Enchant Snowland you control and when on thin ice enters the battlefield, that's our target creature and opponent controls until on thin ice leaves the battlefield. And you also get a Snow Covered Plains, the Wall of 1000 Stabbing Things. Thousand cuts, okay, and a soldier token. All right, so there we are. I mean, this alone, Richard, you do you really want two more chaos boxes? I'm not sure if we can beat that, but stay tuned. All right, and then we'll open the email. Email. We'll open the mail from Chuck Wagon MTG. So I'm a patron of his channel. So if you have not checked out Chuck Wagon MTG, I'll pop a link up in the corner. Also leave a link in the description to this video. All right, so he likes to have these notes here. What is this? Patron rewards. Okay, so check it out. And there's a note here. 
Just wanted to let you know that you won last month's patron giveaway. What? We have some deck boxes, playmats, and we have pre crom ball deck left. When you get a chance, get a hold of us so we can get your prize to you. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Holy moly! Okay, I must have missed that one, so I'll set that aside. Thank you very much, Chuckwagon MTG. So, let's take a look at the cards here. Did not expect to win a giveaway there. So, digging in. Always very secure here. Sometimes I have issues pulling these apart. Yep, there we are. Today is no exception. So we'll get that over there. And see what we have from the chuck wagon. Okay, so we got a little swamp here. What is this? Oh, foil! Full art from BFZ. Let's take that out of it. Oh, there's something else in here as well. Get a nice look at these items. So we have the foil full art swamp. Very tasty indeed. And what is this other thing? Oh, it's another foil. Plummet. Alright, from M20. And next, what do we have here? We've got Reeve Soul. Okay, so that's another foil. Fay Barrow Elder, Creature Tree Folk Druid 003 for 3, has Vigilance, gets plus 1 plus 1 for each colour among permanents you control. You can tap for each colour among permanents you control, add 1 mana of that colour. Very decent. A Yaya, First of Lockthrain, Legendary Creature Elf Noble 2 3 for 3. Whenever you're to another black creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Tap, sack another black creature, draw a card. Alright. Oh, another rare. Alright. Release to the wind. So instant for three. Exile target, non land permanent for as long as that card remains exiled, its owner may cast it without paying its mana cost. Drown in the lock. Yes, that's a good one as well. Uncommon from Throne of Eldraine. Pyromancer's Gauntlet. Artifact for five. What is this? M14. For red instant or sorcery spell you control, or a red planeswalker you control would deal damage to a permanent or player. It deals that much damage plus two to that permanent or player instead. Alright, a Fortress Crab. Krenko's Command! Yes! Sorcery for two, put two, one one red goblin creature tokens onto the battlefield. Obelisk of Naya. And what is that set? That's a bit obscure. Leave it out in the comments if you know what it is. Next we have Throws of Chaos, Naga Oracle, Sky Theatre Strix, Slaying Fire, Merrileaf Pixie, Iron Root Warlord, and Undercity Scavenger. Okay. So we have a nice selection there today from Chuck Wagon MTG. So once again, I'd like to thank Richard Corwin and Chuckwagon MTG, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.